Well, um, this is an exciting week for us. Finally, as, as I talk all year, uh, it leads up to what, uh, what this week's all about, and, and we do leave tomorrow um, for Carbondale, uh, which should be an exciting week. A nice new format uh, at the conference this year. Rather than cram everything into a Thursday, Friday, Saturday prelim finals, um, we've extended our meets to kind of match what's done nationally uh, to where tomorrow, Wednesday night, there'll be two relays of the, the 200 medley relay and the 800 free relay on Wednesday night, uh, and then kind of open it up to Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and and, uh, and be ready uh, to go. As for how the team's doing in the past week, and, and I've been coaching for a long time, um, I have yet to have a team that seemed to be as prepared as this one. Uh, they, they look phenomenal across the board. Um, just showing, uh, I hope they're not showing speed too early, but uh, every indication that we're showing in the pool is, is that this is going to be something that uh, that uh, is going to be pretty special, uh, and if they do what they're capable of, it should be uh, it should be a great meet for them. And uh, we're excited, we're prepared. That's one thing. This team is definitely they're prepared uh, and they're ready to go. All they got to do is that you know the work's done. Now all they do is just go and execute and do the things that they've been done all year, uh, and that's stick to the plan and, and perform uh, what their body is conditioned to do. If that happens, uh, we should have some good uh, good things. The things we want to accomplish at this meet. Uh, number one, we just want everybody to have personal best, better than they have. And we talked about all year. We want to be better than we ever have been on all aspects. Um, number two, we want to be better than we've ever seen at this school. Uh, we have a lot of school records that we've uh, set in the past couple of years. Um, our goal is to try to, to break all of them while we're this weekend. So we'll that, that'll be number two. Uh, and then number three, probably the most importantly, see where we are as a team and how we can finish uh, within our conference. And hopefully that's uh, higher than, than they've finished uh, in previous years. Uh, so. Again, I'm very confident what, what our girls are going to be capable of. I'm excited about the opportunity that we've uh, that we finally gotten this far, and it seems like it's just kind of went by in a blur. Um, but again, this team is extremely prepared, uh, and, and I uh, again, I feel more comfortable with this than I ever have in my coaching career uh, about a team being prepared as a whole. Any questions? Are there more advantages to stretching out the uh, tournament format? Uh, yeah, especially the, the biggest the biggest benefit of spreading it out is the 800 free relay, which is a, which gives our girls another chance to swim a 200 freestyle. So they swim 200, in the past it was they swim the 200 freestyle in the morning in their prelims, swim it again at night, and then have to turn around and swim another one at the end of the session in the, in the relay. So moving that to that first day gets a, a fresh 200 freestyle um, where it's not, and, and you don't have such wear and tear on your body um, on that day with the 200 freestyle. And it allows us to really kind of see a lot more um, and to give our girls an opportunity to, to compete earlier, thus giving us uh, the hardest thing to do is your first event. And so when you put relays in that first day, it kind of gets that first event out of the way. Uh, and we'll be putting in some exhibition relays to give almost all of our girls a chance to swim on Wednesday to be prepared for Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And you talked a bit about the preparation. Just how are the girls coming down from their tapering and just being ready for this physically? Again, I, 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 am, I have been amazed. The last, the last week, um, it is, they still feel tired. You know, they, and we talk about, and when I talk to each one of them, they still don't feel great, but the times they're putting in practice are something that are off the charts. I mean, we, we do uh, some simulated races, and they're, uh, you know, these are championship level swims that they're putting together, and, and that's what we want to see. Again, I, 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 as a to team, as a whole, being prepared, this is, this is something I've never, uh, in a good way, haven't experienced before. Thank you, guys.